Hi, my name is Cedric. Welcome to another week of AI Decoded. So you might already know that robots are crawling your website. Not all visitors on your website are actual people and this is not something new. But recently more and more of these crawlers have been crawlers that are working to train AI models and they're capturing your data and then using that to make a product for other people. And you might find this unfair, maybe even creepy, and you're not the only one. Because last week, Medium's CEO, Tony Stubblebaum, announced that they were no longer going to allow GPT-Bot, which is the crawler of OpenAI, to crawl their website that has thousands of blog posts and use that to train their model. Now, you might find this not that surprising from a CEO of probably the most popular blogging company in the world. And I think that's quite logical. I wrote a blog post myself on Medium actually four years ago in 2019 about GPT-2. And that blog post might have been used to train GPT-3, who knows? And I never got a dime for the article I wrote from OpenAI. Now, I don't think my article was that, that valuable, but there are definitely articles on the website that have a lot of value. And I can understand why people would find it more logical that those people would get paid for the articles that are actually being used in OpenAI's model. So Medium is not the only one. There have been CEOs from big media companies, from the traditional press and also the open press that have said that they will no longer allow AI models to train on their articles. For example, CNN did that as well. And not only media companies have done so. Companies like Amazon and Quora have also stated that they will no longer allow these bots, eh? for example, GPT bot from OpenAI, but also Google's bot to crawl their website. But before we look at the pros and cons of why you as a company, maybe you're a small company or a big company, should decide to follow suit or should allow your website to be crawled by those models, let's maybe see how we can actually say that we don't want it anymore. Well, it's actually quite easy. On your website, you have a robot.txt file which provides more information to automatic or robot visitors of your website. And you can actually state there to the robots what kind of behavior they should have on your website and if they're able to, to crawl it or not. And so, for instance, if you want your website to be showing on Google, then you actually need to tell the Google bots that it can crawl your website. But the other way around works as well. If you don't want OpenAI to crawl your website, then you will say that GPT bot is not allowed to come on your website. Now, the big problem here is that obviously at this moment in time, this is something that is completely voluntary. So the companies, they like OpenAI, for example, if you say they cannot access, they probably won't access, but you cannot just say any LLM, you cannot come on the website. There are some things that you can do, like for example, putting a lot of fake data on your website that you actually provide bad data to the crawler, but I wouldn't really recommend that because first and foremost, that's a lot of extra work. And secondly, it might also not be completely legal. So this begs obviously the question or two questions. On one hand, like, can we actually do something to make sure that AI models cannot crawl the website? And the short answer is, not really. Huh? The ones that provide this voluntary opt-out that you can do, like with the big ones, but for the small ones, there's currently no legal framework for that. And so if that's something that concerns you, then you might actually want to talk to regulators and see if they can prioritize building that kind of framework. Now, for the ones that actually have that opt-out, like, is it worth it? I would say to most companies, no don't do it allow these crawlers to come on your website why well these models like ChatGPT, they have a clear cutoff date of their information that is two years in the past but the models like for example from google and probably also the new models from openai they're gonna have a cutoff date that is much shorter to the present time and you actually want your information to be available for those models as well because customers, they already, potential customers, they already use those tools today to find information on companies that they want to 
buy their product or service from. And so it's actually good for you if that information is out there. So for most cases, I would definitely say don't disallow these bots to crawl your website. Now, obviously there are some side cases. If you know that the data on your website doesn't really reflect what you do and might bring bad results, then it's definitely something that you should consider. If you feel like the data on your website is too valuable to give away for free and, and that it's not a net positive for your business, I think that's really the decision that Tony made as a CEO of Medium, that this was not a net benefit for all of the creators of the platform and that would actually discourage their users to post more on the platform because they're providing value for free, not only for humans, but also for big corporations like OpenAI. And I can imagine that a lot of people that are taking part in the free press movement don't really want this. So these two, I think, are the most important for you to decide if uh, you actually want to disallow crawlers to, to come on your website. So I'm actually curious what, what you think and, and what you are doing as a business. And even small business today, they can quite easily say, I want to opt out of this. And if you are one of those, I would actually be quite interested in finding out what made you decide that you don't want robots on your website. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next week.